Hey everybody, Jason from No Code V8. In this video, we're going to be having another play around with OpenAI. So we're going to do a fun little project to just see how we can use this to understand the scope and the power of this tool. And we're going to be using Make to generate some images. So what we're going to be doing is giving a prompt to OpenAI and it's going to go away and create an image based on what we ask it. Okay, so the idea behind this, because I've been looking at houses and things, you know, dreaming of houses to build in the future and constantly looking at these small, tiny homes and things. And what I wanted to do was to see how OpenAI could generate these homes to give me some ideas, some inspiration. Um, and I was surprised at how good it is. Um, so what I want to do is send an email to myself every day with an AI generated tiny home in the woods, in the mountains. And so it's a fun project just to test it. And, but you can adjust this to be anything you want. If you want to receive something every day, you know, maybe some AI art or something like that. So let's have a look at what we can do and how we can do it. So let me just show you first uh, an example. So this is what I'm going to do, email myself every day with this. Here's the inspiration for a tiny home. And we can click on this and this has been generated by, by AI. So every day I'm going to receive an email like this. And what I can then do is I can rate that image to see if I like it or not. And what I'd like to do is be able to then take all the images that I like and feed them back into AI to generate some similar. And this way, we're going to get somewhere near to what I want. We're going to we're going to give the information back to AI so that we can generate something closer to what we want. So this is the idea behind it for now. So to do that, we're going to use make, as I said, and we're going to use the AI module, open AI module. So if you haven't got an account, head over to uh, beta.openai.com and just Google open AI and you can create an account for free. You get some free tokens or you can just add some money on here. I've just added ten dollars on here, which will last me a long time. So just create yourself an account. And then when you go over to make, you can then connect and use open AI. So let's start by connecting to open AI. And what we want to do here, we want to generate an image. So it's very simple. You just pick your account once you set it up and then you put a prompt in there. So what do you want OpenAI to do? So let me just get an example. So this is the prompt here. Let me paste it in and then we'll go through that. So a small family home in a minimalist, in a minimalist style located in the mountains. OK, so this is what we're telling it we want. We're telling it the size. Uh, we want to bring back a URL. So it's going to generate the image and give us a URL. And we only want one. OK, so if I just run that as it is, so let's just run this module. OK, it's created as a record. If we go down to the output and look at the data, we'll get this URL. And if we just go to this URL, we'll see what it came up with. OK, so that's pretty cool. So it's very varied what you get. Sometimes it's cartoony images. Sometimes it's a photorealistic. Uh, sometimes it's something in between. I'm trying to work out how best to um, to get what I want, but I think if I can generate enough images, then I can feed them back in. So, okay, so that's what it's done. It's done what we asked. Um, it's a pretty decent picture. And so we have something here now we can generate images. So what I want to do is to generate an image and put that image in Airtable because I want a record of them, and then I'm going to get Airtable to do the emailing. So all we have to do now on here is we go to here and we connect to Airtable and we want to create a record. And so the Airtable is, I'll choose my Airtable here. We're going to choose this base. So all I've got a very simple base in here and this is where we're going to put the pictures. So we're just going to put them in here, just date them. It's just going to be one a day and then I'm going to have the ratings where I can come in and rate them. Okay, so let's just go for this. Um, I call this one tiny home uh, house designs wasn't it yeah so house designs is my base my table I'm going to put the information in is um, AI tiny homes and the image URL is going to be the one here okay the file name I'm going to leave it empty don't really care we could put the date or something like that maybe we should put the date so let's put the date in here, rating everything else we can leave off. 
and I'm just going to OK. So now let me run this now. And what we should see is another image come into here. Oh, I got an error. Hold on. Invalid file name. Let's take the file name out. We don't need it. Let's run that again. And again, we should see that image come into here. So they're all the further generate at the moment because I'm just running testing, but we'll have one a day. So this image has come in there. Let's click on it and have a look what we got. There, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. I don't know what these are, but that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and you can see the image name there, not very friendly. So you could do something with that. But um, in this instance, it's not an issue. So we have an image in here. I can open it. I can give it a rating. Let's say that's a three. Okay, so we have that. What I want to do is to be in control of the prompt a little bit more. So because I want to modify the prompt as time goes on and try and get better, better output. So what I've done in here in AI prompts is I have another table and we have some records in here and I have one active. So I can add ideas in here. I can make them active or not active. And then when it runs, I want it to pick the active record in here. So the, the one I'm specifying. So let's just head back over to make here and let's just um, let's just add another module. So we're going to do a search in Airtable. Just unlink that, put this here and put this here. So now our first module is going to do something in Airtable. So we're going to search for a record. So we're going to search by Airtable. And the base is house designs and the table we're going to search is the prompt and the formula is going to be where status is active let's try that status is active so in fact let's keep it simple let's just create an active view here So this is going to be the active prompt. Well, we're just going to filter where the status is active. Okay, so we now have an active prompt in here. And so if we head back over to here now, we probably need to do a refresh. Let's just try and see if it works. Let's just refresh that. Okay. So active prompt, any records we find in active prompt, we're going to limit it to one. And now instead of, well, let's just run that module actually. Let's just run this module only. We should get the record back. So we have the record back here. And now instead of our static prompt in here, well, we're just going to put this prompt in here. So the same thing is going to happen. It just gives us a bit more control over our prompts. So let's go, let's run that now. So it's found the record, it's searching. And if we go over here, we should have a new record coming in now. It's always a surprise what this is going to be. Ah, again, pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, so let's give that a three as well. Pretty decent attempt. So what's happening now, just uh, I have an automation in here. That is sending me an email every time a new record gets added into there. So if I go to my email now, we should see. So every day this is going to email me, say, here's your tiny home inspiration today. I can click on it and I can look at the image and then I can rate it. So again, a fun little project. You could change that to whatever it is you're into, whatever you want to inspire you, or it could be just you want some AI art. Any questions, let me know. Thank you again for listening.